Everyone, welcome back to the Terrorarium. Thank you so much for your support on last week's video. I'm really excited for today because we're going to be talking about five absolutely insane facts about the Venus flytrap. Fact number one: Venus flytraps have eaten frogs and even human flesh. Venus flytraps are undoubtedly insectivores, so you should avoid feeding them anything else. However, these carnivorous plants close shut when their trigger hairs are triggered regardless of what or who ends up in its trap. <laughs> I know y'all are really here for the human flesh, so let's get right to it. A scientist by the name of Barry Rice contracted a nasty case of athlete's foot. So he decided to make the best of it. If I could even call it that. He took his crusty foot fungus and fed it to his Venus flytrap as an experiment. Warning, skip ahead if you do not like graphic or icky imagery. After a week, the traps opened. I had predicted the skin chunks would be relatively inert and unaffected. After all, these were hard, crusty chunks of skin from the sole of my diseased feet. Surely, the Venus flytraps would have no effect upon them. Was I ever wrong? The skin chunks were almost completely digested. Worse. What was left no longer had much cohesion, but was gooey and slimy <laughs> like little boogers. I am sorry, I could not get through that without laughing. I tried to re-record this part, but like... And then and then he goes on to say, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that last bit, but uh, let's put it into Google Translate and see what that is. Utsk. 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 Ia. Ia. Well, alrighty then. Well, it's time for fact number two. There's only one species of Venus flytrap, the many cultivars. The Venus flytrap is part of a monotypic genus. Monotypic means that there's only one species in the genus, Dianaea, and the species is Muscipula. Furthermore, you'll only be able to find native species of Venus flytrap in North and South Carolina. That means it's impossible to grow different species of Dianaea. However, there are many cultivars. Cultivars is short for cultivated variety. Think of cultivars like dog breeds, but instead of golden retrievers and beagles, we have DCXL, Jaws, the Korean Melody Shark, Cheerleader, and lots of cool cultivated varieties out there. Interested in the different cultivars? I'll leave a link in the description below to flytrapstore.com, which is one of the largest varieties of Venus flytraps for sale right on their website. Fact number three. Venus flytraps can count. Inside of each trap, there are trigger hairs that are alerted when an insect or other object touches two or more of the trigger hairs within a 20 second time span. As you can see in this demonstration, Venus flytraps have their own system of distinguishing between a false alarm and a delicious treat. It takes a lot of energy for the traps to go through the cycle of opening, closing, and digesting their food. In addition to this, each trap is limited to the number of times it can open and close, so determining the difference between a droplet of rain and a fly is crucial to their survival. Fact number four. Time for you guys to see my favorite cultivar, the robotic Venus flytrap. Yes, there are robotic Venus flytraps that mimic how a real Venus flytrap would eat. Although these robots may not eat bugs, scientists have recreated this carnivorous plant's eating mechanism by using a thin strip of light polymer. Let's check it out. Lastly, fact number five. Charles Darwin was a huge fan of the Venus flytrap. As you may know, Charles Darwin contributed a lot to the scientific community and our understanding of evolution. In his publication titled Insectivorous Plants, he stated that Venus flytraps are one of the most wonderful plants in the world. After observing Venus flytraps eating bugs and admiring their animalistic qualities and unique appearance. Well, I definitely have to agree with Charles Darwin that these plants are definitely one of my favorites. I hope y'all were able to learn something new about Venus flytraps. What facts surprised you the most? Do you have a favorite plant? What carnivorous plant would you like to see me do a facts video on next? Make sure to leave a comment below. Since I just started this channel, I don't have an upload schedule yet, but I would like to do weekly videos and switch it up sometimes between fun videos like this or instructions on how to care for various kinds of carnivorous plants. 
If you have any video requests, make sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.